Hi, this is Anthony Davis, and I want to explain tensegrity today. This is going to be a very watered down explanation of tensegrity. The, the most I want you to get out of this video is generally a different way of looking at the body. If you've ever taken an anatomy class or you even just have taken yoga classes or um, worked with a personal trainer and they start talking about different landmarks on the body, the greater trochanter or your sacroiliac joint or this muscle and that muscle, when we do that, we think of the individual co components to the exclusion of the whole system as it works together. So in a very simple way, tensegrity is the tension and elasticity of the fascia. And it's what holds the entire structure together. My friend here, if he didn't have literally a rod up his ass, screws and nuts and bolts to hold his knees together, he would just be a pile of bones. He wouldn't be able to stand upright. It's this elastic and fluid system of muscles and bones that allow the tension to stay upright. And what you'll see is that nothing is connected directly, none of the rods or bones in this model are connected directly to another rod or bone. What's happening in this model is that if I apply some kind of force to any one part of the body, there's force that's going to be distributed through the rest of the system. So if I move one piece, literally the entire rest of the structure is affected by this movement. So these elastic bands that are holding it in place, these are the fascia, the muscles, ligaments, and, and tendons, etc., that hold the body in place. And the bones are more or less floating in this atmosphere of Right? Connective tissue, muscles, ligaments, etc. And it's this tension system that allows the body to stay upright, to move as a coordinated whole. If we have pain um, in the body, let's say the pain is down, uh, down here where my left hand is. It's right here. Okay? This is where the pain is. Well, notice that if I apply force at the top here, all of that compression translates down into this area where the pain is. So pain could very easily be traced up this chain, or um, Tom Myers calls it an anatomy train um, of, of fascia. So the fascia would be this like, well, I can trace from here to here and then there and then there and then there and oh, here we are along the train down here to the pain. So this movement up here, can compress and create pain down here. Everything is connected. It doesn't make sense all of the time to analyze one muscle and one uh, bone and one movement at a time. If we were to imagine your uh, biceps, the way that we typically look at a muscle is if we had this guy here and we connected um, a muscle here to his forearm, and then up here to his humerus, and those two points get closer together, it's going to lift his arm. Well, the thing is that that never ever happens in the human body, right? Because tension here in the bicep is translated to the forearm, to the deltoids, up into the neck, and so on. This tension in one place creates tension in the places that surround it as well. Everything really is connected in a physical, tangible, experiential way. We can see it in the lab, we can see it in the way we move, and we can feel it in our bodies. We're finding out new things about the body every day. It is the most important thing, in my opinion, that we continue to push our uh, boundaries of understanding and be open to new ideas. And this tensegrity model of the human body this is the new model for biomechanics. And we're working out the kinks, and my knowledge is cursory at best. But if we can all begin to understand the body a little bit in this way, then the entire community can be elevated as a whole. So that's it. 
I just want you to understand that the entire body is connected. The system is a unified whole. And this is going to help with the videos that come. I'm going to be explaining different types of movement in yoga, um, looking at things in a different way that might seem to clash with modern postural yoga. But uh, this is some of the underlying reason of why I would look at it in a different way. So that's it. Again, my name is Anthony Davis. Please like and subscribe. I'll be putting videos together now on a more regular basis. I've kind of established myself in a new space, and now I have the ability to put out some content for you. So I'd love to hear um, any questions that you have or requests for videos that you'd like to see. That's it for today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.